Second, this interaction we all know, imipenem silastatin. Uh, imipenem is an antibiotic, but it is metabolized by an enzyme called as dehydropeptidase. Our kidney produce an enzyme called as dehydropeptidase. So, whenever we give imipenem alone, it is broken down by this enzyme. So, what we do, we give a drug which inhibits this enzyme, and that drug inhibiting this enzyme is silastatin. So, imipenem is always given in combination with the silastatin so that imipenem is not broken, so it becomes effective. Okay? So, this is again a useful combination. Another combination is of amoxicillin clavulanic acid. Amoxicillin is a beta lactam. Now, many bacteria, they develop an enzyme known as penicillinase or beta-lactamase. So, beta-lactamase can break beta-lactams. It can be broken. So, if we give beta-lactamase inhibitor like levulonic acid, then amoxicillin is not broken. So, it will become effective. Okay? So, beta-lactam, beta-lactamase combination which we are using, this include amoxicillin with clavulinic acid. Ampicillin with sulbactam and piperacillin with tagobactam. So these are the combinations. These are beta lactams and these are beta lactamase inhibitors. So when we use these combination, beta lactam cannot be broken, so it will become effective. Okay.